or else he had because 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 guess what? For you for, for for those that's out there that's really sincerely trying to be righteous and have little small hiccups and, and slips, he can he can you know he can let that slide. But for y'all that just don't have a mind of the Lord at all, that just don't give a damn, that just set fully set in them through evil, and that their consciences are sealed with a hot iron. We got nothing but vengeance for you. That's why the Lord said your sins are gonna be your accusers in that day. Right. You no, know, because the ultimately the blood of your house shy don't cover them. Right. So they're gonna have to die for their own. I mean they don't know it after death by pain. The Lord did ultimately die for them. That's why they're gonna come mm -hmm. back in the kingdom. Right. But they're not gonna be uh, uh so saved. Yeah, kind of yeah. death. So they, they they gotta go. Uh -huh. No, they gotta go, man. They gotta go through that Noah. And Noah's uh, moment. Yeah. Plus, plus they're guilty of the blood of Yahweh shot. Yeah. Right. No. They, and the ones that uh, that may not have said uh, 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 slay him and uh, and let the blood fall upon our children. Yeah, kind of. The other ones said what? Um, they 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 um, they uh, say they, they they put into an open shame. They uh, crucify. Oh well, yeah, they uh, crucify. Accuse them. They crucify him afresh. Yeah, that's talking about brothers that fall out. Right, but those brothers are also the, the same two thirds that ain't gonna make it. Yep. So those are the ones that, that don't have the truth that he that he's not covered. You gotta learn this after death by pain. Okay? And that's the scary part about this. That's why you have to be on your so what manner of man are you to be? Okay? You got it, bro. Yeah, this continuing 31, because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained. Uh -huh. Whereof he hath given assurance unto all men. Yeah, and what, and, and what assurance is that? That if you do well, he will receive you. And what does that mean? You will escape from death, that last enemy. Okay? Just like the Howard Shah escaped from death, he uh, got the victory over death, should I say? We're going to get the victory over death. Okay? Because when, uh, when sin is finished, that's when death is, uh, is there. I forgot how that quote goes, but that was close. Oh, uh, wait a second. Oh, death, where is that sin? Yeah, that, that's part of it. it says, um, he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised him up from the dead. Uh-huh. Let's continue Isaiah 65. Matter of fact, before I go to 66 and 15, where's the 16? Matthew 16. 66 and uh, 15. 16. Start, start at 15, because we were talking about that. Okay. Yep. Isaiah 66 and 15. Isaiah 16, For yep. behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire uh -huh. and with his chariots like a whirlwind. That's talking about the dead Lord when he when he returns. Okay? He's going to come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. Go ahead. To yeah. render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. Uh -huh, because he's not going to kill him. Uh, the, the first death was with water. The second death will be with fire. All right, go ahead. For by fire and by a sword, Will the Lord plead with all flesh, uh -huh. and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So, so think about that. He's gonna plead. What was that word? Plead again? Like yeah, Masha Pot. Yeah. yeah. Masha Pot. Yeah. Judge. He's gonna judge all flesh in that moment. Oh, somebody hit um Second Corinthians uh, uh five, five and ten, and eleven. Bible Five and ten. Yep. Second Corinthians chapter five, and verse ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat uh -huh. of Hamashiach. That's right. That every one. And let me say, because he said what? All eyes shall see him and wail because of him, right? Even those that pierce him. Even those that pierce him. So everybody's going to come before that judgment seat. Everybody's going to shit their pants when they know there's a judgment that's coming. Uh, read this one thing. Yep. Jeremiah 25 and 31. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord have a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. Uh -huh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, said yep. the Lord. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, to the killing instrument. Okay, go back. Oh, He's coming back to condemn and punish. Right. And say. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're talking about the UFOs, the, the chariots. Uh -huh. You know, they're coming back weaponized, man. Right. right. You know, with the concentrated laser fire, man. Yep. All right. Read it again. Oh, sure. Verse 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, uh -huh. that everyone may receive the things done in his body. Uh -huh. According to that, according to that he had done, uh -huh. whether it be good or bad. So he gotta judge you. You get a you get a pass or fail. Yeah. You 
get the pass if, if, if you if you get salvation. If you've been working towards it, you've been doing your best. If you need chosen. Yeah, if you need, that's the most important part. If you were chosen, then yeah, you make it. If you were not, hey man. <laughs> if you either a good yeah. reward or, or an evil reward. Yeah. Exactly. No. Keep reading that, that 11th verse also. Verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. When you look at the terror that the Lord, that the most high sanctions that the earth go through, whether it be Solomon and Gomorrah, whether it be uh, uh, Egypt, what happened to the Egyptians in Egypt, or the plagues that happened in Egypt, whether it be uh, uh, the Noah flood. I mean, you go on and on throughout the book and you watch the judgments that he, that he set forth. Because through the Most High alone belong the issues from death. That's the You want to doubt that? So, so he belong, to him belong the issues from death and he choose to kill you or to save you according to what he feels. Okay? He'll put the spirit on you to do the righteous works to, to escape uh, punishment or he'll allow you to get condemned with the rest of the wicked. Yeah. Psalm 68 and 20, he that is our power is the God of salvation, and unto the power of Yahweh, the Lord belongeth the issues from death. It is. God of salvation and the powers of death. Yeah. So read 11 again on 2 Corinthians, brother Sean. Fine. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We persuade you I got to it. get right. Somebody got to get Proverbs 1 at some point. At some point. Get this real quick. Oh, good. It's uh, John 5 and 22. For the Father judge of no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. Yep. Unto Yahweh Shai. But, but, but as, like we were saying earlier, as much as he um, is understanding to the temptations and walking in the flesh and all of that, he's not understanding when you, when you, when you could have done the right thing and you still chose not to. Kind he's like going to be even more harsh in that moment as well. Kind of like the scripture said, those that uh, sin, knowing that they sin, it is a uh, he that he yeah, that he that, he that do he that know to do good and yeah, do it but not, not to him it is sin. Well, I got yeah. it. So Revelations twenty two and verse eleven. He that is unjust, yep. let him be unjust still. Yeah, we, we can warn you all we want, and then uh, if you can be uh, you can be uh, seated again. <laughs> he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Let's keep going. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Uh -huh. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. In the words of, 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 of our apostle, hey, if nigga don't get it, we move on. on. <laughs> hey, for real, Shake off we're gonna sit there, yeah, we we gonna sit here and just try to force you to get it when no, it's not for you. Bend over and do backflips. No, First man. Corinthians 14. I gotta understand that a lot of a lot of these souls are back just to get judged. Yeah. All right. Everyone's back. Everybody's back yeah. to, to play out their judgment, man. Right. Hey. It's going to be manifest who did evil and who, who did good, man. Now, if I can bring up the pie chart right like there. And the Lord, using, he, he's going to use the so-called white man Esau to, you know, uh, if he did that judgment, sworn against you know, Israelites too, man. That's right. Yeah. So I want to throw out this. So if, if this is the, the Israelites, right, this is the 144,000. The one third that will get saved, the two thirds that will not get saved, and then how much more people for the rest of the world when we're known as the sand of the sea? So how much judgment is there going to be between this and the rest of the nations? Is there going to be that these people are going to witness? I like that it's red. It's like blood, you know. Yeah. The blood, <laughs> two thirds. Yep. Yeah. Shit. It said that uh, that the righteous shall scarcely uh, be saved. That's right. So how, so where, where should the, the ungodly the center appear? Exactly right. Peter, yeah? I love this still. Yeah, go ahead. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his works shall be. Hey, according to your works. Did you sow good works or did you sow wicked works? Okay, majority of the earth is sowing wicked works. There's a very small remnant number that are, that are sowing good works, okay? And, and that's going to be the measuring stick in according to these works, which will be the measuring stick of what's going on, uh, how the judgment is going to play out, okay? So so what, what manner of man ought you to be? I'm going to repeat it again, okay? Uh, it said that the books will be open. When he does come back to judge, he says that the books were open. 
and all those who was now written in the in the book of life, they were cast into the lake, lake of fire, fire. Right? That's right. which is the, which is the uh, second death. You know, so that's why I said that in Peter, what what uh, what men or men ought you to be yeah, in all holy conversation and godliness, meaning you're supposed to be living uh, by the by the book, man. You know, you're supposed to be living according to to the words of the Most High. Receiving this engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Right, because this through this word is how you get your salvation, man. By by the works that you do from from from, from growing and learning from this wisdom, okay, and and, and, and practicing the, the the righteous things, the act, the righteous acts that you do. Okay, that's how you earn your salvation. Real quick, uh, John five and thirty nine. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. Uh huh. And they are they which testify of me. So hey, the yeah. scripture's telling you to hey, search the scriptures. Yeah, find well, out how it, to deal with it. Yeah. Hey, there, there's eternal life waiting for you, man. Hey, every every scenario is played out in some way, whether analogetically or literally, uh, in the scriptures. And, and they're showing you the right ways to do it and the wrong ways not to do it. Okay, that's why you search the scriptures. Go ahead, Ak. Uh, this is James 1. In verse 21, wherefore lay apart all filthiness mm -hmm. and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. And this word, this engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Okay? That's why we need this. Though. You might as well run at it right in now. Second Peter, Second Peter uh, three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. And in His word, what did He promise? If you if you rehearse these righteous sects, if you if you uh, what it say in Hebrews eleven, uh, uh, you cannot please them without faith. You cannot please the Most High. It's impossible to please Him. It's impossible to please Him without faith. Okay. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward. Uh, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the faith. night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So with that, that being at the forefront of, of, of your mind and fear, and the terror of the Lord with that moment, if you're going to pass away with fervent heat, continue. Yeah, it says, uh, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons? Yeah, all, all the wicked people, all the wicked works that the people have invented and created, okay, all the wicked ideas, deities, energies, all the wickedness is going to be purged off the earth, man. Okay, when our Lord shows up, he's coming to take every crown off every head. Anything that was given power, he's coming to snatch all that power to reserve for, 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 uh, for himself up to the most high. All right, go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be? Yeah, what manner of persons ought you to be? If all of this is, is about to go down, when the elements going to melt with fervent heat, everything else is going to get burnt up. And if you ain't uh, living by this book, you, you're not going to get saved. So what, so, what, so what should you people be doing before the Lord gets here? Okay? Searching the scriptures. Here it is. <laughs> And applying the scriptures, man. And most importantly, searching them and applying them. Okay? It's not it's not only be a hearer, but a doer. Alright? Says uh, no to look it up. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Uh -huh. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the most high, yep. where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yep. Hey, hey. It says in all uh Holiness and what? Uh, uh, holiness and godliness. Holy, holy God, holy conversation. Yeah, holy and conversation and godliness. Yeah. Hey, in other words, you got to be the opposite of this this damn beast, man. Yeah. Don't be like Esau if, if you want to make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Esau make a left, he make a right. Yeah. Whatever moral compass he's putting out there. He said he said homosexuality. Yeah. Homosexuality is okay. Pedophilia is okay. You do that. Because everything that he's, everything that's abominable, he's saying is holy. Right. He, he's, he's calling good evil and, and, and uh, evil uh, good. You know? He's, he's, pro, he, he's profane. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a profane, uh, what was that, Hebrews 12? I, yeah, he was, yeah. I, he's, a, he's, a forn- he's a fornicator and a mm-hmm. profane man. Yeah. Meaning, and that word profane in the Greek is babelos, which means ungodly or, yeah. or, or, or to be unhallowed. Yeah. So if you walk in any footsteps of this damn devil, man, you walking straight to the missile, man. Yeah, right. That's yeah. death. You're gonna die, you're gonna die the same judgment that's appointed to him. You know? So you wanna be the opposite of what this devil uh, 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 is, man. Or what he portrays to be or what he tells you is is, is morally right. You don't don't listen to this devil, man. Read that in Isaiah 29, It's Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely a turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Mm-hmm. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? The whole turn upside down of things was all part of the, the works of the Most High, to see if you people would still follow the wickedness after you know what common sense is. Because most of the scriptures and the laws in the scriptures are common sense when you actually sit back and think about it. But what does this devil do? He removes that from in front of you, and, and, he, and he forces you into the wrong way to do things, and then make you believe that it's the right way. Okay, so when you search the scriptures, you, like, and you find out that, that the way that you've been doing things, whether we'll just use dietary uh, as an example, that eating all the abominable foods, well, well, what's the most um, um, uh, 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 prestigious, uh, to, for lack of a better word, type of meat to eat out there? It's lobster, shrimp, crab, all the they, abominable meats that the Most High told us not to eat. And the ones that's righteous, like we eat steak, uh-huh. they like it bloody. Yeah, they, they still can't even do that. Yeah. Like, exactly. You might still uh, can't, can't eat it without the, the blood cooked out. Yeah. Okay. That's not being holy. Anytime yeah. our people pick up the practices of the heathen, you become un- unhallowed. Right. You know? You become like them. You're, 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 you're walking. You're basically, you're, you're becoming like them. So therefore, you're, you're, you're ungodly. You're, you're becoming trying to think of a, a, a term for it but basically it's, it's root beast yeah you become an, like an animal yeah. basically man yeah. moving by uh, all sense to some emotions yeah. versus by clear guidance we have clear guidance in these scriptures okay and it's written in the language that we all should be able to understand and if you can't still gather that much he has sent servants to prophets to interpret this word for you before he comes. So how, how many advantages is he gonna give you before the day comes? And how prepared will you be uh, when that day finally does arrive? That's funny, because the man fell and dropped his beard, right? Mm-hmm. I figured he didn't want to have that beard. Anyway, uh, you ready? You fucked up is, <laughs> they, they got in the car and drove off. After that? Yeah, they, 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 they drove by. Both of them oh, was drunk. Both drunk. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It's John 5 and 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that mm-hmm. sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death. Right, but it's passed from death. You'll be able to escape by the perils. I mean, uh, by your works, uh, escape the perils by your works, uh, by your faith, and whereby ye have believed. Yep. Come on, come on, right? yeah. Verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, that they shall hear, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given life, it's like, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, uh-huh. and have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. And he gave him the authority, oh, you know this life down here? I'm going to give you all the judgment to deal with what's right in the mind that I would have to the people down here. Okay? That's how Most High did it. Okay, but but did Yahweh try to make it a cakewalk? Hell no. This ain't gonna be a cakewalk. All right. Um, you have something else? No. I got something. If not, then I got something. Um, get um. You have something there? Uh, I'm trying to think what I want. What I want. Um. Uh, read what you had. Just that. Just John uh, 5, uh, 5 and 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and 
which shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High. Right. That dead goes back into Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. It's going into the, the yeah, kind of spiritual dead, going to the, the valley of dry bones. And that breath is uh, the wisdom being blown into their bones. Because hey, wisdom is what? The breath of the Most High. Right. It says, um, that they that hear shall live, for as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. And have given him authority to execute judgment so, also. That, that's that's what that was the point of giving him the authority to execute judgment also. Okay. So that's why he's coming back to plead with all flesh in the day of the Lord. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Matthew 24 and 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. And not even how Rashad knows when that day is, is there. Even though he has the authority to judge all flesh when he comes back, like we've been saying, well, if he don't come back and burn up with a very angry uh, 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 indignation for people, with indignation for your righteous anger for you, uh, you, you wicked people out there, how much more uh, better are you supposed to be? How much more striving for righteousness are you going to be? Okay, and it's not going to, that's what I would say, it's not going to be a cakewalk. That's what I want, um, Acts 14, 22, by the way. It's not going to be a cakewalk. Somebody yep. get uh, 1 Peter uh, uh, 4 and 12. Uh, it's not going to be a cakewalk to get into this thing. Yep. And somebody can get Sirach to get more. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. As the days of Noah was the first death, where a mass amount of people died, and the Lord pleaded with the flesh of the, of the people of earth. Okay? And only saved uh, eight, eight human souls. All right? So how much more uh, is it going to be in this time when, 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 there's a, when he has a cluster that he's going to keep? All right? And then the rest of you are going to get judged. But not with water this time, but with fire. All right? For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, merry and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. What, 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 what chapter and verse is that? Matthew 24. Matthew 24 yeah, keep going. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Also, so the day of the Lord, which is the, the coming of the Son of Man, shall show up on the earth shall be all right it's going to be that people are going to be all off in la la land doing enjoying their wickedness and all of a sudden boom it's going to hit like a sledgehammer to glass okay and everything's going to be shook up in that day all right and now the work and now the work that you hold on bro and now the work that you put forth in the earth of what's going to uh, uh, preserve you in that day and how much uh, wisdom and, and, uh, and knowledge that you poured it up for yourself will be the, uh, uh, your stability. Okay? Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Uh -huh. That goes into the elect, the elect versus the other two thirds, right? Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Uh -huh. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Yep, you don't know when he's coming or who he's going to choose. So like I'm going to repeat, like it said in the book of uh, Peter, Second Peter, what manner of persons are you to be? Okay? Uh, 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 it's Hebrews 12 and 7. Uh, if ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. Right. Uh -huh. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastis, uh, chastisement, uh -huh. whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. And the point is right here. Yep. Nine. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. And hey, you listen to your, your natural father that birthed you, the low life nigga that, that birthed you. Okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Some some Jake's like really about had two bad dads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really had fucked up uh, father figures, you know. If they even had a father figure. Some of them they mom was their father figure. Yeah. Which is no good at being a dad, right? 
But you respected them. Go ahead. Shall we, mu shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Should we much more be subject or humble to the, to the Most High, the Father of spirits, and live? Okay, and, and not and get salvation and not have to be uh, killed in a painful uh, way. You have more. Yeah. For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure. Uh huh. But he for our profit. Yep. Hey, for our benefit. Yep. Our fathers of the flesh did it because that's what they wanted us to do. But the, but the Most High, the Heavenly Father, for our benefit. Hey, like the like the our parents always say, I'm beating you because I love you. Yeah. 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 yeah you beat me because you're mad at me. <laughs> but 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 yeah, a good parent does that. How much more the heavenly Father is a good good parent, so to speak. Okay, so for uh, they barely for a few days chasten dust uh -huh. after their own pleasure. But yeah. he hey, that's why it's not gonna be a cakewalk getting into the kingdom of heaven. We gotta go through chastisement, leading up to it, and going through the day of the Lord. But he, for our profit, that we might be partakers of His holiness. But, but that we might be partakers of his holiness, of that power that, uh, to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. How much better is that situation? That was it? I like the next verse. Okay. Now, no chastening for the present seemed to be joyous, but grievous. Yeah, when you don't go through anything, it seems to be all right. I must not be fucking up because things ain't going bad. But that, that's funny because that's how, that's how Yahweh Shah flipped it on this one. Okay, that doesn't mean you're not in trouble. That means he's waiting on you to, to correct yourself and to you acknowledge your own offenses, man. Okay, that's a big thing that you gotta do. You gotta acknowledge your own offenses. Okay, and how do you know what those offenses are? Search the scriptures. Go ahead, bro. Yep. It says, but grievous nevertheless. But grievous because you don't you you are not taking heed to the day that's coming, the day of punishment, the day of the Lord. What? Hey, the scriptures talk about how wisdom will try you yeah. and will, tor will torment you with her discipline. Yeah. You know, so you're going, the Lord gonna put you through some some tests because He's gonna see where you at, you know, uh, in your spirit. Right. And you know? He's not gonna uh, uh, dwell in a malicious soul. Okay. Yeah. And and you know it's gonna be grievous, but like the scriptures say, uh, uh, don't make haste in the time of trouble, man. Right. Set your set your heart aright and constantly endure. And make not hasten the time of trouble. You don't be so quick to turn up and get out of something, man. Sometimes, through, 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 uh, uh, through your patience, which we know patience is to suffer, possess ye your souls. Sometimes going through that trial is what will, 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 will build you up to a certain level, building up character, building up uh, hardening to the rest of the world, uh, to where you're able to have experience to deal with things now. That one day could, could uh, if you think about it, if you've never stubbed your toe, and then all of a sudden somebody's come around hitting stomping feet, hey man, you ain't really, you ain't built up for that day. But if it's happened a few times, you're like, damn, that should hurt, but I, I know I can make it through. Damn, I didn't have the nail cracked or whatever, but I know I can make it through. Whatever else it comes, you just know, I just gotta deal with that pain a little bit and just until it goes away, it yep. ain't forever. Go ahead. It's uh, Hebrews 10 and 35. Hey, so like, I wanna say this real, real, real quick also before you people get it. We understand as a prophet that, that when the day of the Lord comes, it won't last forever. You people are going to believe that this is going to last forever. When all the hard, the hard shit that really goes on in the earth, whether it be martial law, uh, the, uh, the purge like uh, uh, what's going on in the world, like, like the movie The Purge, every man for himself, dog eat dog type deal. World War Three. World War Three. you people are going to believe this is going to go on forever, and it's not. We understand that. We know that that day is going to have an end. We just have to endure to the end of it. We, we, we know that there's a light at the end of that tunnel. Well, that's it's like, yeah, but I didn't no, mean to no, cut no, you no, off, no, but that's why Yahweh Shai, he said, if, if he didn't shorten the days for the elect's sake, there'll yeah, be no flesh left to be saved. Yeah, so that's why he's going to, when, when tribulation do arise, he's going to come quickly. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So it ain't going, it's not going to be that long, you know? That's right. It says, hey, Matthew 24, immediately after, the, after yeah. those days, yeah. of the, after the tribulation, Come up the sign of the Son of Man coming from the clouds. That's number 30, wasn't it? Come. Uh, no. Because the Lord Because Yahweh Shah is going to come back and, and, and redeem, you know, his elect, you know, from the hands of, of, of their enemies, man. Right. 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, uh -huh. which have great recompense of reward. 
for ye have need of patience. And what's the confidence of your understanding in these scriptures and so much that you have faith and you believe and you have works that prove your belief. That's right. Okay? You're supposed to have confidence that this is the right path uh, to salvation. Okay, you can't be wishy-washy and lukewarm. Right? For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. Yep. For ye that promise of salvation, of the glory, of the kingdom. Go ahead. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. But those that believe unto the saving of the soul. Matter of fact, get that second Ezra 9 right quick. 9 and uh, yeah. 7. 9 and 7. Is it, is it 6? It's 7, isn't it? And everyone that shall be saved? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because those that draw back to perdition. You know, those are the ones who crucify Yahweh Shah afresh. Right. You, know, you actually, like, like, hey, even though I don't really count Nick because right. I haven't heard him confess the name Yahweh Shai when he was claiming to be a Hebrew, but if he if, if, if he did confess Yahweh Shai, he 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 pretty much uh, drew right. back to uh, perdition because he basically yep. sold 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 out. To uh, Emily. Yeah. He had to stand on, if, if he was really in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, that was his moment and his platform to, to stand on, his, on yeah. his guns. That was his Matthew 10 and, and 18 moment for him. Yeah. Who will stand? Oh. Yeah, that stand, too. Yeah. Hey, who will stand for me? Just it's the, work, uh, workers, workers, yeah. workers every day yeah. for me. And it says that you'll be, uh, um, uh, what was that, Matthew 10 and 18, you'll be brought before uh, uh, yep. Yep. governors and yep. kings uh -huh. for, my, for my name's sake. <laughs> It shall be a. Uh, it shall be for a testimony against them. And, and it, you don't have to. That was like his. That was like his trial right there. Yeah. And he and he failed the test. And, and if he had the spirit of Yahweh Shimei on him, and said, uh, "Think not what you're going to say," yeah. he would have been speaking, he, he been speaking yeah. through the spirit and lit that, his ass up. That's where the that's where the confidence comes in. That yeah. You put the work in. You study so so that you're in the spirit and the spirit is going to speak for you of the things that ought to be spoken in that moment. And we're too close to the end to be trying to um, to weasel your way out of things at this point. They, if, if you're really in this thing, man, you've said more than enough to be, to be brought before those kings and governors and, and, and judges and whoever, whomever else. So you're either going to get condemned already or you're in line to, to be tested to be condemned or not, and by this point in 2020, okay? Yeah, the dude. way they're, they're monitoring the internet, yeah, man, there's no escape. Yeah, that dude, he see, he, he, he sook to save his life. Yep. Yeah. And that's what he's doing now, and that's why he's gonna get uh, destruction, right. you know? But, uh, hey, we, we know that our lives could be taken for this, but the Lord's gonna give us everlasting life. Yeah, right. right. That this life shall uh, gain it eternal. Exactly. And, and, and you're gonna have more of you know these situations happen, man. And that's why we was going in on the live stream last night. You know, it's gonna be a global attack against the truth. You got more dudes coming out and, and saying what they're saying. But they're being emboldened by the spirit that's out there. We're the ones who the spirit of Pavia Bashmi Al Shah that's putting that spirit out there, man. Right, bro. You know? So hey, it's, it's, it's gonna happen. You got this dude Jay Electronica. He went on Twitter and, and started giving them, giving them devils the blues, man. You know? He, he called out that rabbi that was... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Abraham that, Cooper. Abraham, yeah, Rabbi Abraham uh, Cooper. He called his ass out, man. Like, well, no, why don't you, you... You lied to Nick. Why don't you... Uh, uh, why yeah. you didn't go in there and talk about the Talmud? Yeah. yeah. Everybody go and do your research on what the Talmud says. Uh -huh. You know? Well, you know, Jake, most of Jake's not going to do it, but a couple will. That's all we want. Yeah. What the most I really wants is a few of you that, that that care enough about this this subject and and, and, uh, and sick and sign and crime for this world to find out the information to help further it into uh, towards righteousness by calling out the wicked, revealing the wicked. Yeah, that's another part of this thing, man. Not only do we, you know, uh, uh, preach repentance and, and to come back to your heritage, but yeah, we gotta we gotta yeah. uh, uh, prophesy against the, the wicked, man, right. against our enemies. That's right. That's why Esau is always a hot topic. 
Yeah. Okay, because the more and more time goes on, the more and more wicked he's going to do, the more and more we got to call his ass out. Hey, but, remember, Yahweh Shai, when he comes oh, back, God. he's coming back to take these people down. Yeah. When you go to uh, Numbers 24 chapter, what we uh, read uh, last night, yeah. it talks about a star that shall come out of Jacob yeah. with, 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 the, with the scepter. He's coming back to, 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 to smash on Esau, man, right. and Amalek. That's right. So, of course, we're going to be talking about them a lot. Mm -hmm. They're the rulers of the, of, the, of the wicked world that he's coming back to rescue They're us from. And hey, when it says, seen. and Esau is the end of the world, that's talking about they ass, man. That's right. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's these, the Rothschilds. That's, you know, the, the Rockefellers. Yep. Okay? That's the these, Illuminati. that's these, uh, are, uh, small hats. These, yep. these rabbis, right. man. Yep. Okay. That's, that's, you know, the, the JDL, the ADL, okay? The, the whole Zionist government. Right. That's, that's, that's what it, who the Lord's getting at, man. Right. And that's who our words are really have, have uh, trembling. And they're going to have to come down with wrath, hey, even, hey, even hey. upon us. Especially and knowing those us. things, we should be more emboldened. We yeah. should be more uh, encouraged. We should have more uh, confidence. Yes. Because we know that the Lord is not a man that he should lie. That's right. he, he said these things would, would happen and he's going he's gonna to carry out his agenda. So I, I, got, so I got two places I'm holding. Right. Matter of fact, hit that in the uh, second edges. Um, what would you hold it? I'll quote what you're holding. I'll hold it. I'll, I'll, I'll quote. Go ahead and read that in the uh, second edges. This is second Esther's chapter 9 and verse yes. 7. Oh, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works uh -huh. and by faith yeah. whereby ye have believed. Yeah, that's how you escape, by your faith and by your works, whereby ye have believed. Okay? Go ahead. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. And go, so that's how you get to salvation. Okay? We're going to switch over to the others. We don't have to read the other part. You get that Acts uh, 14 and 22. Yeah, that's why, that's why I was about to go. I'll just finish this verse. Yeah, go ahead. Shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And I told you, and ordained you, and sanctified you to be a prophet unto the nations before you were formed in the belly of the womb. Okay. Uh, uh, you got something else right now? Or no? If not, go to that uh, Acts 14. It's Acts 14 and 22. So uh -huh. 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples. So so when I said it's not going to be a cakewalk, yeah, those works, that faith whereby you have believed, man, you're going to have to really stand on that. How do you do it? You search the scriptures and you, uh, and you, um, and you, um, what does it say? Um, and knowledge and wisdom will you, you hoard up knowledge and wisdom that will be the stability that's that will right. get you through. That's right. All right. Go ahead. It's confirming the souls of the disciples uh -huh. and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah, through much tribulation, have uh, the way that we enter into the kingdom of the Most High, and because we know the devil will come down with great wrath. Matter of fact, somebody get that Amos 5, and then I'm going to uh, segue into that, uh, to that article. Amos, uh, Amos 5. Amos 5. Uh -huh. It's Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yeah, woe unto you if you're thinking that if you if anybody's thinking like, yeah, I can't wait for the day of the Lord. Well, you don't you ain't thought it through. <laughs> you like, ain't, the, like the Christian church? Yeah, they ain't thought it through. They happy to, to oh, we're going to get raptured up. That's not what the scriptures talk about. You don't get to escape all that. Matter of fact, pre-tribulation rapture. You, yeah, you you uh you don't have anything on that, right? I have something like I can get something. Could you get a uh, First uh, Peter four and uh, twelve? Uh, uh, go ahead and read that. Amos five and eight. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Uh huh. To what end is it for you? That's right. Hey, what end is it for you? Are you sure you're gonna get salvation? Because the way the Christian church and the Catholic church and the Baptist church, all these religions. Will lead you to believe that you ain't got much to do. Just pay a little money, sing the songs, clap a little bit, you'll be all right. Say you accept the Lord in your heart. Right. <laughs> you to continue the same yeah, wicked ways that you was doing yes. before. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Get a little tub water. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> you know, fluoridated water, <laughs> dirty water. Go ahead. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Well, the day of the Lord is darkness yeah. and not light. It's a very dark day. It's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, uh, murder, not murder, killing. Death. Hey, be done. Uh, a lot of death. Say, uh, lamentation, mourning, and woe. This is the end of this thing here. Okay, go ahead. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, uh -huh. or went into the which, house. Which, which, if you were met by a bear, that's probably the end of your life. Okay? If you're met face to face with a bear. God, but as what the brother's saying, this also symbolizes the troubles, man. Yep. It don't exactly. necessarily have to be animals, it could be uh, right. pestilence. It could be plague, it could be famine. It could be COVID-19. Yeah, it could be the thermonuclear missile. It could be the missile. Right, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, yeah. or went into the house and laid his head on the wall. Oh, no. flee, flee from a lion. A yeah, as if a man flee from, from, yeah. from uh, gang bangers in the city or whatever, or some other <laughs> robbery or something, and then you're met by another uh, yeah. form of trouble. Okay, another peril set up before you. It's just not going to end, okay? And then you went into the house, go ahead. Went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. And then leaned, you went to the house and finally relaxed and then you got bitten by a poisonous snake. So you was going to, you, if you meant for you to die in that day, like uh, uh, Final Destination, there's no escape. Even if you flee from the first death and the second, and, uh, let me say it differently, if you flee from the first trouble and then the second trouble met you, you escape that, you're going to relax, and then the trouble you never saw coming is exactly the one that's going to get you. Okay? The day of the Lord is a very dark and gloomy day, man. you got to be prepared spiritually with a positive attitude and, and confidence that you're doing the right things to your works and your faith, whereby you have believed to be able to escape those perils. Okay? And that was it, right? Okay, go ahead. It says, uh, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, uh -huh. even very dark and no brightness in it? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very dark, man. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of death on that day. Get your script, then we'll, we'll go to it. Zephaniah 1 and 14. Uh-huh. Read down. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten greatly. Uh-huh. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Hey, the, 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 the tough guys, man. I'm gonna cry like little women. Okay, scared. What was it? Was it uh, that Isaiah 13? Where I see every man? True. Is that what that said? Like Jeremiah? Yeah, that travail yeah. well, like, on on like a woman in travail. Like a woman in travail, like a pregnant woman about to give birth. And they don't have it. Well, these all kind of make it so make it give birth. But, <laughs> but you know, you ain't ready for that. My man, like, you know, Esau's uh, military. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got these Navy SEALs, Special Ops. Yeah. You know, got Green, Green, Green. You know, they got they got a hundred bodies on there. You know, yeah. on them and shit. You know, even those type of men go to cry bitterly when the Lord comes. Back. You know, Skeletor type crazy niggas that's locked in prisons and shit. That that came that that straight jackets and uh, what was the guy in the Hannibal Lecter ass nigga? You know, <laughs> and just kill people for fun and shit. Rambo's all. Yeah, all of them people. Okay. They're going to be scared out of their mind when that day of the Lord comes. Grand, Grandmaster Fate, too. Yeah, yeah, him as well. Them NFAC niggas. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? He's going to think, oh, we're, when we go into the bunker, he's like, nah, you ain't going, nigga. Who <laughs> said you was getting me? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who said the you was getting me? ain't going to be no escape anyway. Yeah. Still got to come out. With all the so niggas good. under him, they just going to get slaughtered by Esau. Yep. They ain't gonna even make it to the to the missiles and the, the chariots. Yep, and that's that's what we were talking about. Whether you get shot and killed with one way, with that lion or whatever, or another way, with the with the Lord Himself coming to get you. But if your end is, is to meet death, man, that's that's the way you gotta go out. You got it? That day is a day of wrath. A day of wrath. Ooh. What? A day of trouble and distress. Mm -hmm. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Hey man, you guys aren't ready for that day, man. You ain't ready to go through those plagues of Egypt, man. Okay, you ain't ready to deal with that type of because back then in ancient Egypt, the plagues were 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 only against the Egyptians. But now, the only ones that's not going to be sweating all the plagues that are going to come to to America, the new Egypt or Egypt again, if you will. Uh, are going to be all shaken up, whether you're an Israelite by birth line or not. Do it. 
Second Edge is 15, it's like it. Second Edge is 16 and 22. For many of them that dwell upon yep. the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Yes, the other that, that escape. You may escape one peril, but another peril is waiting for you. Because everything in, in the day of the Lord is going to be darkness, man, and death and killing and, and, and peril, trouble and distress. That's it, right? Zephaniah 1 and 16. Uh -huh. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fifth cities and against the high tower. And, you know, they got the, uh, when the nuclear missiles were shot off. Yeah. You know, you from military the, sirens, yeah, right? those, uh, those sirens. There's sirens in America yeah. that will uh, basically warn you when a, a, a nuclear uh, 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 missile, a nu nuclear bomb what? is imminent, nuclear right. fallout. That's yeah. what happened, was a couple years ago in Hawaii? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, they went off, and people were like, shook. Similar to those um, sirens they have in the Midwest for tornadoes. Yeah, they have them the, on uh, near the oceans. I know on the East Coast for sure tsunami, they have them. The tsunami tsunami yep, yep. They have them for... Uh, um, Certain types of storms, you know, uh, just, they just have them as an emergency warning. Yeah. Kind, kind of like the emergency broadcast. Yeah. Uh, but if you don't have yeah. TV, yeah. you use some mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I will bring dis distress upon men that they hey, shall. But if you like it, bro. But if you um, if you if, if you miss our warning, our trumpet being blown, you're not gonna miss that one. But if you miss ours, you're not gonna be prepared for that one. Go ahead. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their mm -hmm. blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. That said they shall walk like blind men, meaning they don't know which way is up. They're not going to have... Perplexity. Yeah, they're going to be perplexed, yep. confused. They're not going to be sure what's, what's the right thing to do. And eventually they're going to try to come find the middle of the Lord when they realize that we had all the answers or they see us on the internet or one clip of a video or something show up that he saw and, and, and took down when the doors of mercy are shut then they're going to come looking for us and it's going to be too late you're not going to be here alright that's why you have to prepare before the day of the Lord comes he said you have something right? it's not that bad it's not that bad no 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 we didn't then you got something so I'm gonna get Daniel, one, Daniel 12 and 1. This is uh, Jeremiah 48 and 44. It reads, uh, it's going into uh, Moab a bit too late. It's uh, 44. He that fleeth from the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in a snare. Hey, because you're going to escape one way, but it's still going to catch you, man. Okay? Like, you people aren't even truly prepared for the, for the things that are, that are right in front of you, let alone for the things to come. Okay? There's things like vaccines and like microchips that you're trying to put in your body, which is the mark of the beast. Go ahead, go ahead. This is a continuum. It says, For all bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And this is uh, Jeremiah 25 and uh, 29. Well, Most I got it out from Moab. Kind of, yeah. bro. And Moab, they're complicit when Esau did the Lord order. Yeah. Right. Everything that Esau is trying to get established, they're, 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 they started in, uh, in in China, which is a communist-run society. Even the, even the fiat paper money yeah. system came from the uh, Moabites, man. Yeah. 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 That was like a thousand eight years ago. Sometimes. Yep. 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 This is uh, Jeremiah 25 and 27. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, drink, eat, and be drunken, and spew, and fall, and rise no more, because of the sword which I will send among you. Yep. 